Hi everyone, welcome to the 27th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will learn how to detect outliers using mathematical approach called elliptic envelope. Well, elliptic envelopes assume that the data is normally di distributed across uh, imaginary ellipse where we fill in the, uh, the this data inside the ellipse which will correspond to the value plus one and whatever value that that lies outside the ellipse the imaginary ellipse it will be like given the value minus one like this example we can see we can see an ellipse here wherein the values within the ellipse which is white like inside the ellipse which is plus one and outside the ellipse we can see the the outliers it is being given the value minus one so the elliptical envelopes works on this mechanism that we will import from the scikit-learn library so as usual we have our libraries like pandas and numpy we will import this along with the salary data set which we which already have we have implemented in the last uh, okay so so our data set is and what is uh, the content of a data set data set dot info so the id age and the salary is the content of the data set and if we give data set dot head so now how do we proceed with our elliptic envelope so first we have to import from sklearn from sk sklearn dot covariance import elliptic envelope now after this we need to create an object of this outlier is equals to e elliptic envelope the contamination parameter which is a most important thing here that i'll come explain what is it let me explain you the major uh, like uh, limitation of this uh, like uh, process is we need to specify the value of this contamination and which is generally the proportion of the observation that are the observ uh, outliers so this is the most important part of outliers so before uh, like proceeding with the data set uh, what i will do i will create one numpy okay and and we will work on that and then i'll show the example of this data set okay so what i will do i will create this suppose x is equals to np dot ar array and then we have our values 100 comma 100 2 comma 4 then 5 comma 6 it's just random value i'm giving so that and this uh, we just want to check whether uh, this elliptic envelope the object whether it will be able to detect this value as an outlier or not then 6 comma 8 okay so we will create our uh, np uh, array control enter our array is created what is the dimension of the array x dot shape five rows and two columns exactly okay now so we'll create the object of this uh, elliptic envelope and then we need to fit it once it is fit we need to predict the value y underscore red or we can say predict one prediction one is equals to the object outlier dot predict and then we'll pass the value x here now what we'll do we'll execute this three lines uh, we have not executed this Control enter. We'll execute this again. It's no problem. Okay. So now this code is execu executed. And if we give prediction one, what will be the value? You can see the very first value, 100, 100, is an outlier because if it comes minus one, then it it tends to show that value is an outlier. Else everything will be one. So this is the mechanism of elliptic envelope, and this is how we will work on it. And this this will help to uh, drop the outliers. Now what if we change the value here? Okay, so now what we will do, we will execute this value. Now, even with uh, 0.2, the, this value is 1. What if we give 0.5? You can see the third value, it is deciding it itself. Okay, now if we even increase it further ahead, and you can see now everything is like uh, becoming uh, negative one by one. So this is how we can, uh, we can detect the outliers using this uh, mentioned approach now we will work with like the data set how we are going to apply this on our data set so this will be very simple the data set is already like imported data data set dot head is nothing but uh, so we need to apply this on the age and the salary column so first we will we need to extract the using the feature extraction logic which i've already shown data set dot iloc command comma uh, one comma two dot values you do we give features okay now if we see the content of these features so the age and the salary column is being extracted into my features now we have to simply we have to create one outlier and we have to apply this 
we have to create the object of outlier outlier one is equal to then we have to be contamination is equals to suppose point one and then after that we have to fit the outlier one dot fit and then we have to pass outlier dot we have to pass our features which we need to check for the outliers after that we need to do the prediction prediction two is equals to out outlier one dot pre, dot predict features and then print prediction two we'll execute this this lines okay so this is the value now there are some values which are negative now this will be very it's not that easily readable so what we'll do we'll create a data frame and add this in our like data set we already have our data set so what we'll do outliers outliers uh, is equals to uh, prediction two okay so now if we give data set dot head so we have the outliers being is being, is already added the column is there now if we want to see the count of how many outliers are there in that case data set followed by data set and then data set equals to equals to minus one if we, if we give this what will be the output okay it's not taking outlier the value of this column name is s outliers if we execute this it is throwing all the negative values add a command here dot count so what will be the output so you can see there are 60 uh, records which is being de detected as an outlier if we want to see which is not equals to minus one 539 so this is the way using the electric envelope we can specify uh, we can detect the outlier and please note the contamination uh, parameter here this plays a very big role thanks a lot for viewing the session if you feel this video is helpful please comment and press the like button and also subscribe to this channel also, if you want me to cover any other topic, please post in the comment section. Thank you. And uh, please note, in the next session, I'll come up with, a, with our first prediction using a linear regression, which will be the, uh, the case of one input and one output. Thank you.